Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So recently Gate has uploaded their response sheet and question paper. Now CSIR has also done it and CSIR done, has done it very quickly. So I'm really amazed and this is a welcome step. So uh, we all should acknowledge that. Yes, I'm happy with the speed at which CSIR is working right now. So the official answer key is available now on the website and also your response sheet is available on the website so this video is regarding it how you can download how you can check out your answer key all the things related to that i'm going to explain you in this particular video right so first of all uh, this is the official website i'll give you a link to this page in the description of this video you can directly come to this particular page here is the public notice which says that uh, inviting answer key challenges for joint csr ugc net June 2021 exam display of questions marked response and provisional answer key so everything is done simultaneously means they are uploading question paper whatever you have done means your response sheet and also their provisional answer key so if you click over here so you will be able to download this particular pdf which is nothing but the public notice you can read it that it is subject wise inviting answer key challenges for joint csir ugc net june 2021 exam uh, display of question, marked response and provisional answer key. Everything is available over here, right? Now, what you have to look upon, the major thing is that uh, candidates who have appeared for the exam, they can log in into the website and they can use their application number and date of birth to check the link of their question paper display, right? And once they are done with this, they have required to process a fees of 200 rupees in case if they want to challenge a question okay and remember that this fees is non-refundable earlier the fees used to be 1000 rupees and it used to be refundable in case if uh, the answer is accepted but this time the fees is non-refundable even if the answer is correct okay so if you are challenging a question and if the challenge is correct then also the fees is not refundable so 200 rupees is the new processing fees for challenging a question so the challenges made by the candidate along with the documents uploaded to support will be verified by the panel of subject expert if found correct the answer key will be revised accordingly okay the payment can be made online through payment gateway using debit card credit card and so on no challenge will be considered without receipt of processing fee right so that is about the uh, method how you have to challenge the question i'll show you also that how you can do that but let's get back to that part later uh, of this particular video but fine uh, the major thing is that they are they have uploaded the response sheet and the answer key is also available so let's go over here uh, these are some of the uh, methods or these you can say these are the steps which you can follow in order to uh, challenge the question but i'll come back to this particular page a little later i'll show you that how actually you can see your response sheet and how you can check out your uh, answers from the provisional answer key so this is the display of key challenge for the uh, joint CSIR UGC net June 2021 exam. You have to click on this link and once you will be, once you will click, you will be taken to this page. Now you can log in through two methods. One is through your application number and password and the other one is through your application number and date of birth. So using any one of them, you can log in, right? So I'll quickly log in and I will show you that how uh, the next page is going to look like. So once you log into your uh, like page after uh, putting all the information, this is how it is going to look like. What you have to do is you have to come down. Okay. So once you come down a little bit, here is what it shows that view question paper. On this button, if you click, you will be able to see the question paper and there is view slash challenge answer key. So if you click on this, you will be able to see and you can challenge the answer key. So let's see the question paper first of all. So once you click on this view question paper, this is uh, how the PDF is going to open up. Now, this shows your question ID over here, the question over here, options over here and whether you have attempted that question or not, okay. Uh, like whatever question you have done, it is going to show just like this is question number 603. This is the question over here. These are the options. Option ID is also there and the answer which is given is Thursday and the option ID is 2401. This, this is what I have selected, okay. This is my answer key. So, this is what I have selected as the answer in this right so that is how it is going to look like now how to challenge it you just have to get back to the uh, candidate page now here on this page you can see that view question paper is what we have done now you have to look upon view slash challenge answer key so if you click over here you will be able to see a whole list of uh, like uh, question paper so now here everything is mentioned okay so question id which is over here correct option which is over here and now it shows that 
uh, the option either if you have claimed or not okay so this this basically depends that uh, whether you are challenging or not okay if you are challenging some other thing or some other question that's what you have to do so just like uh, i was talking about question number you just how you have to ch like match okay that's what i am going to tell you so in the response sheet the question number was 603 so here in the in the like in the answer key you have to look upon question number 603 the correct option for this 2410 okay here also the answer which i have marked is 2410 that means the answer is correct okay so whatever i have marked that is correct answer so in this way you have to match each and every question and that's how you have to see ki how much marks you are getting it's a tedious process but yeah that's how you have to do uh, I'll try to make it simpler for you, for you. Maybe in next few hours, I'll upload a question paper with all the answer correctly marked over there. Okay, that will make it easier for you guys also to check out whether you have done it correctly or not. Okay, that will make the things easy for all of us. Right. So this is the method how you have to do. And if you want to challenge a particular question, then in that case, you have to claim one. Okay. Let's say the same question. Let's say the question number 588. This is the answer key. But I think that the answer should be uh, something else. Let's say I think that the answer should be uh, 2351. Okay, that's the code of the option. Let's say I'm selecting this option as the correct one. So that's what I have to do and I have to come down and I have to slay, save my claim. So whether you want to submit uh, or click cancel if you add or want to make more changes. Okay, so if I want to make more changes, I will click cancel. If I want to submit, I'll make it okay. Now I'll be asked to upload the document okay yeah, that see this is the question number this is the correct option which is according to the answer key and this is the option which i am claiming that is that it is correct now i have to upload the document in support of this particular question now i have just given you a demo so that i make you understand that how you have to challenge the question in case if any question is needed i have not checked the whole question paper till now but yeah, I will do that in case if you think that any particular question needs to be challenged or if there is any particular question which you think that uh, the answer key is incorrect about it. So do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to relook upon it and we'll try to figure it out if it needs to be challenged or not. And if it needs to be challenged, I'll definitely challenge that. Okay. So you need to upload a document over here and then you have to save your claim and pay the fees. And that's how you will be able to claim a particular question. So the process has been made very simpler for all of us so that easily you can claim a question and you can uh, like get through it okay so that's what i said ki this is a little tedious process where you have to look upon each question id then look upon the correct option then the option which you have marked everything you have to match and then come up with a marks that how much you are getting i would be very happy if you would like to share that in the comment section below that how much marks you are getting that will be that in that way we will be able to predict a cutoff like a nearby of cutoff values right so do let me know how much marks you are getting in the comment section below and uh, i hope the video was useful you guys understood how to check out your questions and how to check out the correct answer for that right uh, regarding claiming and other things regarding challenging any question we will look upon it do let me know in the comment if you think there is a question which needs to be challenged or if you think that there is an answer which is not correctly given in it so we will definitely look upon that, right? So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey guys. So I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.